one of the worst days of my life was having to call Mark at the airport and say, I've lost our dog. <laughs> we spent most of that evening driving up and down the road, calling for Schaefer, looking for Schaefer. The next morning, I contacted one of my neighbors, Patty, and told her what had happened, and she immediately jumped into action and said, you need to do this, you need to do this, and you need to call this lady named Karen. I always loved animals, and I trained my first dog when I was about eight. The very first time I stepped behind a dog in search and rescue, and I gave that dog scent, and the dog goes, hey, I got this. It was like fireworks went off. I have a different relationship with Cam. He's always 100%. We tend to always start with a dog that needs a home. It's not uncommon for them to have a dog that nobody has wanted to adopt. Maybe it's a plain dog, but it's intelligent. We had heard about Cam. He had been picked up as a neglect case when he was four and a half months old. He'd been abandoned on a farm. I pretty much felt from when I first met him, he was gonna be one of us. When I met Karen, she got out of the truck, introduced me to one or two of her dogs, and it was almost like we found hope. And both Teresa and I were starting to lose hope that we were gonna find Schaefer. And then when we saw Karen and her confidence and looked at these dogs, we knew we were gonna find Schaefer. There's a, an emotional chemical reaction when you no longer have a dog. In 2004, my dog Jack went missing. It was uh, perhaps the most grievous experience of my life. After I found him, I started trying to research missing dogs. There wasn't really anything in place. And I knew that if I felt that, other people had to feel it also. And I was right. There was no such thing as pet detectives back then. So I started working with dogs in what's called scent specific, meaning whatever I ask them to find, that's what they're going to find. Find this specific person or find this specific dog. When we go out on a search, we have to have some type of an article that we can use. We usually will take the article and we'll prep it with gauze, and now all the scent goes into the gauze. So when we ask them, scan. Get your circle. And now we ask them, match, is there anything out there that smells like this? This dog, find it. And they'll say, yes, I've got it, let's go. All right, let's rock. Or they'll say, I don't have this. And they'll give their negative alert. For Cam, it's a jump up. Find it. Okay. He showed us initially that when he wanted to tell me something, he would jump up on me. He was only nine months old. When he was found on the farm, there was two other dogs abandoned with him. One of them was a bloodhound, and the other was a German short-haired pointer. He actually tracks a lot like a bloodhound. They've got very large nostrils. They have more sensors, and it's in the roof of their mouth. And when they pull in scent, they make a determination. And he uses the bird dog scents to be able to make decisions, which is why we do like crosses a lot, because you have the, the nose of the hound, and then you've got that intellectual approach, because they have to make decisions. He tends to be very serious, and he's very serious about his work. He's not a silly dog, so when he comes out, he always has high drive. He's stable, he's methodical. So with Schaefer, we found out that he was roaming. He'd been gone about five days and had been lost about 10 miles away from home. The family had done everything they knew how to do. There was a lot of people in the Nashville area looking. They had no sightings. We tracked all over. Cam was the lead dog on that. Karen has this attitude that tomorrow we are going to find your dog. Let's go find Schaefer. And she believes it. Cam is the most athletic dog that I have ever seen and watching him when he was on Schaefer's scent was an extraordinary thing to witness. When we arrive on site, the goal, the energy is that we will always find the missing pet. 
every time I start, I still have that awestruck feeling when I give that dog scent that this is amazing that this dog is doing this. These dogs are doing this for us. They weren't bred for it. They're doing it for us. It's an awe-inspiring feeling. Karen came into our lives and brought our boy back. Mm -hmm. And in doing that, she changed our life. The phone rings 10 to 15 times a day, and people are calling what they think is for me, but the reality is they're calling for canine Camden. I run on the dumb end of the leash. <laughs>